This is Jupiter Today for the 5th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC today, EO begins the day in quadrant one heading east, going towards its eastern elongation. Europa and Ganymede start the day in quadrant four heading east and Ganymede spends all day in quadrant four heading east. Callisto starts the day in quadrant one heading east. At six hours UTC EO has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two heading west. At 11.53 UTC, EO goes through its perigove at a distance of 420,000 and half a kilometer. At 11.25 UTC, Europa goes through its perigove at a distance of 664,990.4 kilometers. By 12 hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant two heading west, going to be moving in front of Jupiter, transiting Jupiter. And at 12 hours, Europa and Ganymede are still in quadrant four heading east. Callisto is just about to reach its eastern elongation and will be moving into quadrant two heading west. By 18 hours UTC, EO has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is about to reach its western elongation. Europa has successfully passed behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. And Ganymede is just about to move behind Jupiter. At 2150 UTC, Ganymede goes through its apogee at a distance of 1,073,182.5 kilometers. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal connections between the different moons. And Eo is circling Jupiter this way and Europa is circling Jupiter this way so the connections here would make it appear as though they're overlapping in a ribbon kind of pattern. So here's the connection between Europa and Eo and, Eo, and Eo and Ganymede. Eo and Callisto Europa and Ganymede, and Europa and Callisto. And if you put those all together and colorize them a little bit, you come up with that. And again, it's a very beautiful, interesting pattern being made. Don't quite know what it means yet. All right, there are seven Jupiter satellite events today. First is at 1355 when the shadow of Eo ingresses. At 1356 UTC, the transit of Eo begins across Jupiter. At 1612, the shadow of Eo egresses. At 1614, Eo's transit ends. At 1648 UTC, Europa moves into the shadow of Jupiter. At 1944, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter. And at 2312, Ganymede moves into the shadow of Jupiter. There are four satellite mutual events today. And it's actually two pairs of two. You can look at it that way. So I've just displayed the, the two. The first pair goes from 1626 to 1627 UTC. 
and then from 1627 to 1631 UTC when EO first eclipses Europa and then occults Europa. The eclipse lasts 0.8 minutes and has a magnitude flux drop of 0 0.002 magnitudes at a distance of the Moon and Jupiter of 5.99 arc seconds. The occultation takes place just a minute after the eclipse and that lasts 3.6 minutes with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.482 magnitudes at a distance of 5.05 arc seconds from Jupiter. And on the Google Earth map, this is the location on the planet where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. And show, so it shows visibility of this event. And it looks like most of Asia will see this, most of Australia will see this, and the Western Pacific. The second pair goes from 1855 to 1902 UTC, and then from 1859 to 1904 UTC. The first when Io eclipses Ganymede, and the second when Io occults Ganymede. The eclipse is a 7 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.475 magnitudes and Ganymede's a nice distance away, 51.77 arc seconds from Jupiter. The occultation lasts 5.1 minutes and has an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.178 magnitudes and is also about 51 arc seconds from Jupiter. And visibility on this is about the same as the first, just a couple hours later. All of Asia, some of Australia, but now we're getting into Europe and some of Africa. Alright, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. There's Io moving in front of Callisto. And looks like Europa is about to pass in front of Ganymede. There goes Eo transiting Jupiter from Earth's point of view. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 640 and the second at 1636 UTC, with some new radio data from the 4th of February at the UT time shown. And there was also some new images posted. and there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 21 minutes, 35.4 seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 27 minutes, 18.3 seconds. 
the angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 177.763 degrees and that's 1.072 degrees greater than what it was yesterday and the phase angle and that's the angle between Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter it is 0.412 degrees and that's 0.197 degrees less than what it was yesterday the distance continues to get less and less but it's almost come to a standstill now as we're very close to the opposition of Jupiter distance today is 650,220,065 kilometers and that's 84,931 kilometers closer than what it was yesterday that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 3,538.79 kilometers per hour and that's moving towards one another that's 1,961.46 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday the distance between Jupiter and the Sun 797,608,337 kilometers and that's 46,313 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,929.71 kilometers per hour and that's 6.33 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday the central meridian at zero hours UTC CM1 188.07 degrees CM2 216.5 degrees CM3 124.56 degrees the time of this recording is 2359 UTC on the 4th of January 2015 so please subscribe and thank you for subscribing I'm always happy to read comments and try to answer questions and suggestions to make this podcast ever better you can send all of these and your images to the email shown and until tomorrow I bid you peace